Thanks for coming along. So my name's Simon Haig, and I've got a bit of a, uh, an eclectic life uh, history. 20, I've lived in five countries, originally from England. I've lived here, Australia. I've worked as a lawyer. I've been a CEO, general manager. I've owned my own consulting business. I've invested and owned in, sometimes successfully, some, sometimes unsuccessfully, in startup businesses. So I've seen pretty much most things in terms of business. And 99% of the time, business success and driving business online and offline is about people. Without sales or deals or business growth, there is no business. Ask yourself, are you a blocker? Are you personally in your own business or if you work for somebody else, somebody who maintains these blockages or are you somebody who wants to try and be an unblocker? With everything in life, I try and make the complex simple. So. Effectively, for every business, for every organization, as I said, deal-making is the core of what they do. So I try to find out, is there a process that businesses can identify, that you as business leaders or deal-closers in a business or working for a business can really rely upon? And what came out of four years of work was this 7P methodology. Deal-closing isn't limited to CEOs. We're all actually born with an, with an instinct to persuade. So remember when you were kids, you used to stamp your feet and cry to get your own way? I'm not saying that we were born deal closers, but we were definitely born with an instinct for persuasion, which is one of the key skills that a deal closer needs, along with influencing and uh, selling and negotiation and self-awareness and situational awareness. This is all being driven by generational changes. For, for you individually and for what organizations want and need to grow the business, this is the key, right? This is the kernel. One of the last jobs to disappear, whether you like me saying it or not, will be salespeople. To be able to sell or, or be a deal closer as, as, as I am, you need, you, you have, in this model, we, we, we're all aware of used car salespeople and hard nose and hard salespeople. We can all smell them a mile off and we all run a mile, right? Those days are coming to an end. It's all about, really sales is more about relationship building. Really, human behavior trumps facts most of the time. So there's a lot of qualitative stuff in terms of growing business. But if you don't have the right culture, mindset, people, players, awareness of power, uh, self and situational awareness, you're not going to, you're really not going to maximise your business growth, even if you have an online business.